Hello, collective. Welcome back to my platform. Thank you for watching as always. Please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Um, I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families as always. Please remember to stay in the purest of white light, okay? Any plan of the enemy against you has been dismantled immediately and permanently. Anything the enemy stole from you is being returned to you as we speak. As I have said, so shall it be. Judgment has been calling, has been called. So we have the 10 of pentacles out here followed by the page of swords. You absolutely have people watching you to see how you're going to be moving forward in regards to a situation or how you are going to be receiving this 10 of pentacles. There's absolutely a group behind the scenes fighting. People know that you know what's going on. They're watching you to keep track of you. There's something going on, honey. There will be a feminine energy watching you. You're about to partner up with a masculine energy that either she was in a relationship with, a situation, uh, marriage, something of that nature, but he's had enough of her and he's moving on. She could be stalking you, have other people stalking you, possibly have paying people to stalk you or something like that. Someone out here thinks that they are all powerful for some of you. There's a woman that's misleading other people. You know those people in the movies that come and say, my daddy is the president of, you know, some non-existent land. Meanwhile, her daddy is irrelevant as can be and whatever place she's talking about does not exist. You're dealing with this woman. She's following you around and she has an ego but low self-esteem but she has clouded judgment. She thinks she's all that, but it's all low self-esteem. This person is acting out of low self-esteem. So she and her minions or her best friend could be watching you to see if this masculine is coming towards you because this is someone she has been deterring from coming towards you. For some of you, this is an entire group that has been working against you, trying to block this abundance from making it towards you, but it will. Judgment has been called. Your ancestors have stepped in. They are interfering. They've had enough of these people as well. The universe, ha universe has had enough of these people. Honey, this shuffling problem on my channel is getting out of hand. Now, we have got to get this together, folks. I'm saying, folks, that you are a part of this shenanigans. Look at it. <laughs> It never fails. I swear it never fails. When I'm doing my personal readings, I can sit here and these car will easily flow with each other. But the moment I get on camera, there is a hating karmic lurking, spending spell works or something. Because this is every video. This is not like one video. Literally every video you watch on my channel, there is something going on with me and the, and the deck. Okay? So people are watching to see what's going to happen, how you're going to get a hold of this Ten of Pentacles. This Ten of Pentacles is something you and someone else will be building together. The person you're going to be partnering up with could be already financially stable or you two will be partnering up to become financially stable. Wherever it is, it is absolutely going to be happening. Someone is watching you as well. Whoever this is that's supposed to be partnering up with you, they know who you are. They know of you on a spiritual level. They know you are extremely intellectual, sharp-witted, straight to the point. You don't beat around the bush. And this person loves this about you. Someone knows you are extremely loyal and this is what they are looking for. Maybe the person they were with before was for the community and he's trying to get away from that person or she's trying to get away from that person, regardless of the gender. Yeah, this, this what listen this listen 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 Linda Linda listen Linda listen okay Linda will be being let go <laughs> he he wants something better he wants the truth he wants something genuine he wants loyalty is what I'm hearing okay so this could be a guy that's leaving a woman he wants to heal put a dead into the past to toxic relationships 
there's something that is very unholy about the relationship he was in with this person um and he is letting this go um this person has been holding on to this feminine energy for a long time i think he thought that she was loyal but this could have been someone that was just with him for money um and he's finding it out yeah he is absolutely trying to heal trying to seal on the karma waters he's dealing with a lot of hurt right now but he's taking all of that with him into his new beginning he knows that he will heal in due time or he's in the process of doing this right now okay he is absolutely going through the dark night of the soul lord have mercy we hope that he can find his way on the other side successfully someone is going within to find yeah someone is going within to find their own path the true path that is made for them absolutely someone is seeking higher knowledge in life someone has found themselves they're tuning out the world so that their voice can be the loudest in their life um self-actualization is very imperative and essential to our ascension you never want other people's voice to be louder than yours in your life and on your path okay there could be a king of wands that is trying to interfere lord have mercy there's a king of wands there could be a king of wands that is trying to interfere with this person coming towards you this king of wands knows that you and this person have a contract he could be trying to block this contract from coming into being. This is someone that has some type of odd obsession with a feminine energy. And he's watching you, stalking you. There is something with this masculine. His mental is shaky, shaky. As you know, I like to say on my channel, my West African people, we love to use that term. And it means that someone mental is imbalanced. They are crazy. You need to stay away from them. Those are people that are hot and cold, hot and cold, hot and cold, never consistent. So this King of Wands is trying to block this masculine from coming into your life. But this person will absolutely come into your life. This King of Wands may be paying people behind the scenes to interfere with your forward movement. Prevent someone from making contact with you. This King of Wands could be in some type of relationship, situationship, where he is possibly having people interfere with your life so if anyone is coming towards you to make an offer he's blocking them he's trying to either end a marriage or a relationship and in the meantime wants you to wait wants you to wait until he's done going through his separation his divorce whatever it is and then he can come in and make an offer to you appear as your knight in shiny armor you don't need a knight you need an emperor or a king okay this person is a no-no this king of wands is a no-no i keep hearing hot temper this is someone that's hot temper but they mask it they hide it very well okay if you meet this person they appear to be diplomatic tactful intelligent and all of that but behind the scenes this is a hot mess this is someone that throws a fit when they don't get their way especially when it comes to women something of that nature okay and he knows you have a message a, a positive message coming in some type of good news coming into you about this ten of pentacles or someone telling you that they want to build a ten of pentacles with you, meaning they want to build a life with you, start a business with you. Because the ten of pentacles are not inheritances. These are not things that, you know, someone put you in a will for you to receive. This is something where some where someone, you know, you and someone either get together and build a business and it turns into an empire and then into a legacy. Or you do that on your own by the grace and the help of the Most High. So this is something that requires a lot of work. However, for some of you, there could be a masculine where his family already has a successful legacy and he wants to partner up with you and they are watching you to see. They've been watching you to kind of learn you, studying you. They've been studying you. Okay. The page of swords has to do with acquiring higher knowledge, learning, stepping out into the world with a new and fresh perspective, being open-minded to new adventures. 
okay? And then we have the Page of Cups here, which has to do with being spiritual, looking deeper into things, finding out, you know, the, the, the answers that other people don't see. You see things in ways that other people don't see it. That's part of what the Page of Cups has to do with. So you are absolutely being studied by the masculine that's interested in you, his family, friends, and the karmic that's trying to block you from contacting or connecting with this masculine. And the karmic on his side is trying to block you two from coming together as well. So you have a lot of people against you, basically collective, as always. What's new? What is new in Karmic Veil? Nothing. It's the same old, same old. Okay, let's get into this reading. I am enjoying this energy. I had a couple of down downloads and I told my ancestors, look, when I start this reading, if I see one of these specific cards, then I'll know what direction to take. And the Ten of Pentacles came out, so I knew it had something to do with abundance. Um, so I said, okay, I guess that's the message you all want me to uh, um, do today. Okay, someone... Because the truth has been revealed that you are genuine, you are who you say you are, their plan is not moving forward. Someone has some type of plan to interfere with this union, whether it's a business union or a relationship union, someone had a plan to interfere with it. It's not going accordingly, okay? Also, for some of you, the person you're supposed to be partnering up with receives some type of heartbroken message about you that you're not doing too well something is going on either in your finances your health something of that nature uh so they they may be worried about you okay whoever is going up against you the karmics in karmicville they are not doing too well they've lost a lot of money they were expecting to receive some type of good news that they were going to be the ones receiving this partnership this money, this abundance, whatever this is, this new beginning, but they receive bad news. So whatever plan they had is not coming into fruition. Someone may not be recovering from some type of illness or someone has a mental illness and is out of hand at this point. It's not something that can be contained. Someone is very immature with the way they carry themselves. But if you see this person, whether man or woman, they are real well-dressed right but their mental shaky shaky is not even the right term to use someone is unhinged someone is demonic someone may ha someone may have a uh, an entity attached to them so thread with caution masculines if you end up with this woman thread with cautions uh feminines if you end up with this masculine it is a nightmare someone has fallen from grace their finances are not where they used to be what they were intending for you to experience is what they are experiencing. This is balance being brought into this situation. Your counterpart absolutely received message that your situation is looking either dreadful or something of that nature. Um, and they may be taking action to bring, to fix things, to connect with you. But there are people behind the scenes trying to block this person. Okay. Whoever you're going to be partnering up with is a younger energy for some of you. So you could be an older woman. I'm not saying like you are dirt old or something like that. Uh, like R. Kelly said, age is nothing but a number, but uh, I know the history behind that. But let's just, let's just use that saying, please, okay? Without the details, the context of the Aaliyah A. R. Kelly situation. Age is nothing but a number. You are only as old as you feel, okay? But someone old, older, you're going to be connecting with someone that's younger than you. But this person is very mature. They are loyal, highly educated, educated, and intellectual. And they are very vibrant or you're going to bring this side of them out, okay? You're going to help this person see or embrace another side of them. I had some... Listen, honey, side note. I had some type of demonic energy in my home last night. I have got to cleanse my home. I have a flower by my window. This flower has been living its best life for the past few days. And I woke up this morning to this heavy, disgusting energy in my home. 
lo and behold, my flower is dead. So I have got to, when I'm done with this reading, cleanse my home because it is ridiculous. It's like there's a heavy energy just lingering everywhere. So I have to cleanse when I'm done. Okay. I had to take a shower, like a good, not a shower. I take baths. I had to take a long bath before I could come sit here because the energy is just not, not energy. -ing. Okay. The vibe is not vibing. And I know someone was in here because my energy is very specific. I am aware of mine and somebody else, somebody else's energy is in here. So I got to clean. Okay. But your enemy, the road ahead does not look very bright. Okay, this is going to come out. Yeah. You are coming out of like, you're going to be receiving some type of new opportunity. You are taking charge of your life and moving forward regardless of what's going on around you. You have been being advised by the spirit realm to trust them and to keep your mind on positive thoughts right don't let the negativity that is going on around you get the best of you just trust them to work things out in your favor i realized that a lot of the readings we've been doing at the end when we do our angel number we are getting something about being reminded that our angels are working things out for our good in the background so we can trust them trust them you know to work things out for us so you are absolutely being reminded okay you just need to keep taking charge and moving forward. There will be a new opportunity presented to you, whether this is in love, whether this is in a business, whatever it is. But you are going to receive some type of news, right? That's going to be changing your life. Um, but so you need to thread with caution how you respond to this person. Someone is not doing very well. I don't know if this is some of you, this is the person you're connecting with, or I think this is the karmics. The karmics are not doing well not very well and i don't think it's getting better okay Ooh. why do my cars feel so there we go okay yeah someone has made the decision to give you this opportunity this is something people were trying to block from you but the decision has been made to give you this opportunity. This could be something that ends up turning into some type of romantic situation, but that'll be down the line. Right now, it's going to be a focus on work, growing your pentacles, growing this business, you know, establishing this empire and things like that. It may end up turning into something that's romantic. Someone may have feelings for you. Okay, so just be mindful and keep um uh, keep a note of that. Make sure that whatever opportunity you're receiving, um, it's not all because someone has romantic interest in you. Make sure it is because right they know that you are capable of doing the job. Um, you are someone they want to work with, and they see a benefit in having you working with them in their company or whatever it is, or building this company with you. You two are going to be doing something that's quite unique, different, that's not been done before. Uh, and this is going to cause a lot of envy in other people. There will be people making efforts to destroy this relationship, but trust that the Most High has its hands in this relationship so it will be protected but absolutely there will be people trying to dis disturb your peace and quiet in your relationship and then you have people pretending like they have what you two have but something whatever this is that's coming together is not something that's easy to be fixed this is you two's justice this is you two uh justice being given to you and it's going to help you to propel into life, move forward, take charge. And whatever you decide to do, you're going to receive support from the universe. Okay. But the both of you, this is your justice. This is your karma, your good karma, right? Things moving in your favor, you two connecting. There's going to be a lot of passion in this relationship once it is established, once it makes it to that, to that uh, stage. Thank you. I forgot what the word was, word was that I wanted to use. Once it makes it to that stage, 
right? It's going to be a lot of passion and things like that. Someone has a lot of emotions for you, but they don't even know how to uh, deal with it, uh, uh, rationalize their emotions and things like that. You could be quite different from this person. They could be of a Caucasian background and you are a person of color. You could be someone that's spiritual and this person is religious. There is some type of difference in the backgrounds. Um, and this may have caused some type of hindrance in the past, which is why this person possibly didn't reach out to you as soon as they should have or they wanted to. There's something different about you uh, compared to the background this person is coming from. And whatever it is that's different about you may have terrified their family so the family may have discouraged them from connecting with you okay but this is youtube's justice i don't even know i mean sometimes family family has your best interest at heart but i don't know why like people put such a big emphasis on how their families feel families and friends feel about the people or person they want to date like that's not their life to live that is not their life to live. Someone may be heartbroken that you two are connecting together. Like, they've done so much behind the scenes. Um, but this union is still coming together. So they're like, what in the world? So I wasted all this time and money. I'm broke now. My health is out of whack. Like, I did all this for nothing, right? Yeah, you sure did. You yeah, sure did. We need to let them know, collective. You're sure did. Someone took a lot of actions. I'm telling you. <laughs> they took a lot of actions, putting a lot of energy to block this connection. Block this opportunity from coming towards you. And it's still coming. Okay? You're about to be going from like rags to riches or something like that. It's what I just heard. Rags to riches. The old, oldest story of time. Lord have mercy. Mm, mm, mm. This card is always so alarming for me. <laughs> this card is always so alarming for me. Yeah. Mm, 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 mm. So you are up against a really toxic energy. This is this person, whoever she is that this masculine was with. This is her. This is the relationship that they were in. Absolutely toxic. And he wants out of it. She's been trying to hold on to him. There may be some type of financial benefits to whatever this is. This could be a coven for some of you. And they have their eyes on you. They want you to partner up with them. I will thread with caution. You don't have to work with anyone. If you are a star C, you rarely ever have to partner up with an organization to fulfill your purpose. The only organization you need to be uh, partnering up with is the one that involves the most high and your ancestors. Okay, it's called... Uh, uh, university universal incorporation right this coven uh, uh they are trying to make things go in their favor but it's not they may want to come in and act like they're trying to right their wrong with you there's ulterior motive you stay in this energy this is this x this is you something is not milking the buttermilk I'm going to come back to this energy. Something is not milking the buttermilk. Someone is extremely karmic. Yeah. Someone is extremely karmic. They may have been stealing ideas from you, pretending like it's theirs, and it has led to some type of success for them, but it's being stripped away from them. Someone has been stealing opportunities from other people. Not just you collected, but other people. Someone has been stealing Okay. You're going to have an option, a decision to make. 
You could be working a job right now, have a business of your own right now, have a good platform of yours right now, and someone is gonna come in to make some type of offer to you and you'll have to decide if you want to stay where you are, if you wanna go with them. Um, but just know that there's nothing that's guaranteed um, in life, right? Just because you and this person are meant to be, you could end up, you know, changing your mind. They could end up changing their mind. Things could end up not working out. But then again, things could. There's always that if, right? Um, and it just depends on the energy you all put into it. Lord, I got to cleanse my home. I got to cleanse my home. Yeah, these people are fighting behind the scenes. They want to cause you stress too so that you can end up making the wrong decision. It's just too much going on. Someone still thinks they can defeat you as well. I mean, it's a disgusting energy. Just nasty. Just a lingering around. Just a lingering around. Anyways. Whatever spell work they were trying to throw is not happening. Yeah, someone is not receiving this abundance. They don't want you to receive the abundance. They don't want you to receive the message. They don't want you in the privileged lady energy. They don't want you... They don't want you thriving in life. They don't want you thriving in life. Whatever business you have already, they don't want you nurturing. They don't want it growing. They're playing around with something that is yours. Someone is tempering with someone else's work. And they do this on a regular. But it's about to bite them in the behind. Someone is about to be exposed in the worst way possible. Someone here is like a brat in a... A older body, like a, a a woman that has the mindset of a child, like not even middle school, but like, you know, kindergarten, maybe fourth grade, fifth grade. This is her mindset. She's very childish. There's a masculine with the same energy. They're very childish. They play around too much. It's like too much playing. They're hoping that you don't keep moving forward so that you don't receive this opportunity. That is why this Ace of Pentacles is in the reverse. They, they want you to start slacking to fumble your Ace of Pentacles so that you don't receive it, but you will. You will, I'm telling you, you will. They may be doing things to interfere with your intuition cause some type of clouded judgment where you can second guess this person when they come towards you. They want you to care about the person's age. They say, oh, you're so young. I'm in my 40s and you're in your 30s. Like, I don't know if that's a good good uh, idea to partner up with you. And someone, someone is not able to pay a high priestess anymore to do magic. Someone is not able to pay a high priestess anymore to do magic or this high priestess is not accepting money anymore. She is actually helping you collective manifest this new reality. So this woman that used to work with these people or man that used to work with these people is not helping them anymore. She's refusing payment. And that is because she knows who you are. She knows the truth about you now. And she's refusing payments for some of you. She does not want to work with them. She may be undoing certain things that she did. And she's binding these people to their situations. And it's not looking pretty. But this woman is helping you manifest your new beginning. That is crazy how that works. And then you, some of you, you're the high priestess and you're manifesting your new beginning. These people know what you're manifesting. There's nothing they can do to stop you from manifesting. 
you're still manifesting this Ten of Cups and Ten of Pentacles. You're going to have the family, the empire, everything. Love and happiness. You're about to have it all. You're going from broke and disgusted to I have so much money, I don't know what to do with it. And your enemies are pissed off behind the scenes. Yeah, absolutely. I said love and happiness. You're about to have it all. You're about to have it all. And someone is saying, why did they get to have everything? There must be that woman child that's talking. Someone is so insecure and immature. So immature and insecure. How do uh, Kanye West says so insecure. I, I wish I knew how he does that. It sounds a lot like insecurities. Someone is extremely insecure. They've made it their mission to come after you. It's not going in their favor. Someone is very toxic. They thought they could play with you, get you trapped in some type of toxic situation. You're not. You've decided to move forward. Whether or not you receive this Ace of Pentacles or not, you're moving forward. You were supposed to receive some type of message and they keep interfering with it. They don't want you receiving the message, but you will. You already know you're a high priestess, so you don't need any physical proof of your abundance. You already know, and you're manifesting that abundance. Abundance for some of you is just fulfillment. I'm saying just fulfillment, but it's fulfillment. That's all some of you are asking for from the Most High is fulfillment. But the Most High is giving you so much more because you ask for so little when you do so much. It flew out, I'm telling you, and this is coming to you quickly. Yep. And, oh my gosh. They flew out of the deck. They had something to say. This is absolutely coming in quick. This is coming in quick. This is going to be justice for the both of you to have this genuine connection, genuine love. Someone is going to be giving to you a lot without expecting anything in return. As a matter of fact, they're going to tell you, don't give me anything. For some of you in this masculine gives to you, you'll be wondering, like, why is he giving me this? You're not expecting anything from them. This is going to be a pure connection. Pure connection. Someone is going from dark to light. You see the difference here? From dark to light. Someone felt trapped and they're about to be free. About to be free and all in divine timing. Someone is waiting for the right time to come towards you. They're going through healing, but they will be contacting you. Someone wants you to be patient with them. There's something that they have going on, some type of healing, right? That is what it is. I say I will come back to this. That's what it is. He's coming out of this and into this. He's healing. He's leaving, getting out of this toxic situation to be in this energy. Someone is awakening, basically. They are awakening. Okay. Yeah, someone is still determined to end this. Someone is, he's thinking, because someone here, there's a masculine that did something to you in the past, and he's going to have to confess that. He's thinking about how, what is the best way to talk to you about this betrayal? Someone betrayed you heavily, and he does not know how to face you, how to talk to you about it, 
how to ask for forgiveness. So this is part of why this is here. He's thinking like, is she going to reject me when I tell her what I did? Why did I do that? Didn't deserve it. I was such an idiot for doing that, right? Like, oh my gosh, what if she rejects me? For someone, be careful. There is someone coming in to gas like you. Someone is still attached to a coven. And they think they can come in and manipulate you. For some of you, there's a masculine that's playing double side. Both sides. He's like a double agent. I don't know if you're going to want anything to do with this person. But someone here has two masters. He has his foot in the door, right? He has one foot in the light and one foot in the dark. He could be telling them one thing and they're coming to tell you one thing and you won't know what to believe. So I will be careful with this person. Be absolutely careful. They may betray you. Be careful. Uh huh. Gaslighter. Be careful. And for someone out here, you're a high priestess. I'm being told to tell you whatever success it is you are looking for, you are the one that's going to be manifesting that by yourself. No one is going to be doing that for you or with you. So do not sit around waiting for anyone to come towards you to give you some type of offer. Do it on your own. You are extremely gifted extremely powerful and you have the ability to manifest the reality that you want so you need to do that do not wait for any offer from anyone whatever you need is within you is what i'm being told to tell you the most high will provide okay and i think you know that already but you 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 have a stubborn nature to you I don't know if like you're tired of being by yourself or something and you're trying to just force something. That's, that's not how you typically move. You've been alone for a long time and you are wanting to partner up with someone, but you are being told not now. It's not time yet. So you need to focus on your work, your spiritual practice. And they said, don't focus so much on the money. Focus on fulfillment from what you do. Okay. When it's time, you are going to meet your higher level soulmate. You will be with someone that's of temperance energy. And it's going to be someone that advocates for you, someone that stands up for you, someone that defends you. Someone is going to be very protective of you when the time comes for you two to be together. But right now, focus on manifesting your your dreams and things like that. Someone knows that family is very important to you. Yeah. Honey, these people, they can't do nothing. They can't bring chaos in your life. They can't compete with you. Someone cannot compete with you. Someone thinks they can compete with you, but they cannot. And this masculine, he's afraid that when he tells you what he did, you're going to let like, shut him out. But it looks like you're not. You're just going to listen to this person. Yeah, you're going to be listening to this person. I don't, I try not to read my cards, but I wanted to see what the heck that was because of the way it's lined up here. But. You're going to listen to this person, but they're afraid that when you're done listening, you're going to let go. Just tell them, hey, I don't really want to partner up with you because you did that to me and you barely knew me or something like that. Or you didn't know me at all and did that. I didn't do anything to you when you did that to me. Uh, so that speaks volume about your character. Someone is afraid of you rejecting them. Okay. There's someone else where someone wants to defeat you. They want to like fight with you, but they can't. Someone cannot compete where they do not compare, cannot compare, never will compare. This is like a page going up against an empress. Someone throws a lot of fit, a lot of tantrums, just really immature and embarrassing. 
like some someone sits in front of either their phone or their computer just upset like they hate to hear you hate to see you but they keep watching you they hate to hear your voice or something like that but they keep turning on either your content because this is someone is stealing content from a lot of people or just talking a lot of people and she hates to hear you watch you see you but she can't turn away lord have mercy oh miss it make it make sense it's not making sense it's too late for all this mess someone is crazy they thought they knew it all they were they feel entitled someone feels entitled to your energy but they're being blocked out of it they can't have it they're defeated uh, uh, uh. and someone is doing magic behind the scenes to interfere with someone else's energy it's like you know, if you're typically someone that's quick-witted, very vibrant and things like that, they want you to be like sluggish. They don't want you to feel like you want to go to work or you want to do anything. You don't feel like paying your bills. You don't feel like uh, uh, brushing your teeth. You don't feel like taking a shower. This may be the state of being this person is in and they're projecting that on you, but it's not working. Someone is doing a lot of projection spells behind the scenes. And they're angry that it's not working. You're about to be celebrating why your enemies are going to be in sorrows. Someone wants to give to you. <laughs> Someone wants to give to you. Oh, there may be a group of people that want to give to you now that they know who you are. I've heard like in reading sometimes some people when these cards come up in the reverse, they'll they still flip it over. During my studies, um, it said it doesn't really make a difference if you flip it up or you leave it reverse. Honey, do what works for you, but I'm not sure why I'm mentioning that. So your ace of pentacles is more than likely still insured to you. Um, I think it's in the reverse because people don't want you to receive it. Okay, and then you have the Knight of Pentacles out here, which is usually a solid offer, um, a commitment or something like that. So, yeah, I guess it just depends on what the reader wants to do. Yeah, you have some type of offer coming in. Mm. And people are heartbroken about it. What you look at that? What's new? I'm telling you, nothing is new in Carmichael. Someone cannot, what I just heard is someone cannot collect donations anymore. They're not able to connect, collect donations anymore to pay for spell work, to pay for heartbreak in your life, to pray for uh, disappointments in your life, okay? To block a union from coming together. They cannot afford to pay for these types of things anymore. Someone has emptied out their bank account their wallet their future everything so they're not able to pay anymore they can't either pay a couple anymore dang they cannot they cannot pay anymore to block a union Someone used to go around asking people for money, asking people for donations, and they possibly told people they were using it to pay their bills or pay, yeah, pay their bills or something, and that's not what they were using it for. They were paying a high priestess. They were paying a high priestess to do magic on a union, to break a union. And they're not able to do that anymore or they're not about to be able to do that anymore someone has been paying a hefty price to block a union from coming into being and it led to nothing but heartbreak for them but 
someone is coming out of a trap, out of like superficial, the masculine you're connecting with, they're coming out of some type of superficial way of living to get into a genuine and abundant relationship with you. One, one that is surrounded on family. Family is very important to this person and you. Yeah, you two are moving forward. This union is moving forward. It is protected by the universe. It's going to be extremely bountiful. A very blessed union. The universe has made judgment. Do you see how this is lined up? The Ace of Swords, Ace of Cups, and the Magician. You're moving forward. You are absolutely, oh my Lord. You're moving forward. I'm telling you, you are moving forward. This is about to be you collective in your privileged energy. Don't forget about the rest of us. Okay. Don't forget about the rest of us. has fallen and they can't get up whatever like genuine friendship someone had with you in the past is not coming back whatever genuine friendship or connection they had with you is not coming back someone betrayed another person horribly and while you are elevating in life someone is going to be going through an ending through an ending. Yeah. And they know it too. And they know it, you know it. I think everybody knows it at this point that things are coming to an end for someone. Someone betrayed someone else. They didn't take heed to wisdom. Someone was told don't do that don't do that to that person you're going the wrong direction and they still did it they're trying to overcome some type of betrayal but it, this betrayal that they're going through has forced them into hiding like they're they are they have become the hermit by force Is that someone thought their actions would not catch up to them, but they did. This could be a king of swords or someone betrayed a king of swords. Yeah, and they've lost everything. Someone advised the king of swords not to do something and he still did it. Because someone is very boastful. And he lost everything. Someone went up against you and lost everything. I don't know if they were taking a chance. And they're like, well, it's just one person. It's just a freaking star seed. I'll take the bid. I'll go for it. Give me the gun. Give me the knife. Give me the camera. Lights, camera, action. And then he found out. Yeah, someone is done. Someone has lost everything. Someone is headed straight to poverty. I'm going to do another one. I'm being guided to do another one. So, okay, nine. I tell you. Hmm. The number six and nine have been coming up quite a lot. Healing, forward movement, blessings, completion, something is finished. That has been the repeated message. Okay. It says, okay, 33. Any positive changes or projects you are considering right now will be worth your while. Expect that your power to manifest and create will be hiding. hiding. 
heightened. Lord have mercy. I am expanding. Absolutely. We started with that Ten of Pentacles. You definitely are expanding in a large way. 888, as you focus on all the wonderful things that surround you, you're clearing the path for more positive energy to flow into all areas of your life and creating a place for abundance. I am abundant. Absolutely. Okay, nine. And talking about clearing, I'm going to be clearing this house, clearing this apartment. I mean, the energy is just not... Ooh, nine. It's your compassion that makes you shine. You are devoted to helping the greater good and have a strong talent for speaking up for others. Your soul is most satisfied when you are being of service. I am compassionate. Hallelujah. We are living for the Lord. We are living for the Lord. All right. Thank you for, for watching. Stay blessed and have a blessed day. Goodbye for now.